Hello YouTube fans, here again. We've got a bit of a test to do a movie, so someone who loves me on my YouTube channel, one of my fans, to me nice to test. Asked me to review this movie, so the one who we test, I don't know if they want the name mentioned or not. So I'll just say the one that wants me to do this with test, bid thank you. Now, I'm going to be open and honest to the one who asked me to do this with Tess. I love the two other sequels more than this. This to me, I'm so a uh, thank you, a bit sloppy thank you, but it's going to have to be a rant and a review. It's going to have to be a rant and a review. Now, don't get me wrong, I loved on Ford Van Dan films. You know, I remember reviewing two of them. One being Bloodsport and Kickboxer. I like Don Ford Van Dan. But is he the star of this movie? No. Before people wonder what the fuck I've been blabbering on about. And on about no mistake, no surrender. That's right, no mistake, no fucking surrender. Fucking makes me want to fucking surrender with a gun to my fucking head. I just said it, I like Don Ford Van Dan. But to me, to me, this is like Wookie 4. Rocky Four and the Tirati Kid in a fucking Brenda. I say it again. It's like Tirati Kid and Rocky Four in a fucking food Brenda. And this is the fucking, the bastard of the child of maniacs. Be like Elm Street 3. So I'll get to the fucking point. And I want to get to the point what the fuck I mean. Right? I'll get to the point what I fucking mean about that. Right? What do I mean about that? Right. The reason why I say I get to the fucking point. Right. Just bear with me. And I was about to say. I had to turn the sound off. Because I had to pause it. Someone was phoning me. Um, yeah. So I'd, I'd say this to me. To me. It's like. Um, what would happen if there was in a blender. Right? So I get to the fucking point. What I'm on about. So you get. A long lad, right, and he's studying martial arts with his dad, who does martial arts, right, and he gets pissed because he's starting to act like Bruce Lee, right, so he's starting to act like the next Bruce Lee, which is laughable, so his dad gets pissed at him, then Don Ford Van Can dumbs him, get the right, word right offence, right? comes in, and he snaps his fucking leg, he snaps his fucking leg so easy, it's fucking laughable, right, so he snaps his leg, and then Halfway through the fucking film, he goes to a new town, just like the Tirati kid. Right? So he goes to a new town, says, surprise, surprise, gets picked on, just like the fucking Tirati kid. But the only thing is, the only fucking thing is, unlike Tirati kid, where he meets his teacher, very funny scenes, he meets the dose of Bruce Lee. Seriously, I'm not smoking coke. I'm not been drinking fucking beer. He meets Bruce Lee's fucking toast. What the fuck? What the fuck? So he meets the toast of fucking Bruce Lee. And the toast of Bruce Lee teaches him martial fucking arts. I shit you not. What the fuck? What the fuck? So he teaches him fucking martial arts. It's so fucking laughable. It's unbelievable. But I'll give it his due. They're the only bits. Well, it's the highlight of No Mistake, No Surrender. They are the only bits in my eyes, my fucking eyes, what is the highlight of the film. Because it's Bruce Lie. Now, anyone that does not know the fuck Bruce Lie is, at the time when Bruce Lee said he said bye-bye and passed away, and there had a lot of these Bruce Lee imitated films, and Bruce Lie did a lot of them. And he was very good. He had a sight look at Bruce Lee. And he was the only one who was the highlight of any of the ones that personated Bruce Lee. He really did imitate him, do his martial art moves and everything spot on. And I mean spot on, right? He is the only highlight of the film. The only highlight. I wish it was just more of him training this lad to be good at his martial arts. I really do. Because Don Ford Van Dan isn't really the star of the film. And this is a bit where I say it's a wacky, fucky, four rip-off. He's trying to imitate... Dolph London's character, remember Dargo? He's trying to imitate him. The only bits you see of him, fuck it, the Medini, breaks his father's leg. The Miggle, just training, tries to copy Rocky Four, but to be honest, Rocky Four was a better training scene. You know, that's some good music to it and everything. This, not so. And 
the other bit of the fucking film. The other bit of the film goes in and he's not even fight the lad. He's, he's having this fight with this guy and he fouls that many times. It's a medical that Don Ford Van Dyne doesn't get the boot. And in this, he doesn't even bear to die. He pays a deuce. He pays a deuce. Because he gets to die. He wraps the fucking... You know the boxing ring? The bit on the ring? He wraps it around his neck and he's hitting him and kicking him. The dude who's this lad's dirt friend drunks to die and save the day. So he gets a slap. The good funny bit where he's doing the spits on Ford Van Dan. If everyone sees an iconic photo of Don Ford Van Dan, all his hair slipped back doing the spits. It's this film. I mean, I don't like that little bit, but he's deuce. He hits, he hits women, he batters people, he's a dirty fighter. I know, I know, it's not Don Ford Van Dan, it's his character. It's his character. So I don't hate the actor. I like, I rewind back, Bloodsport, Kickboxer, Time Chop. I can give you a list of films I like Don Ford Van Dan in. Double Impact. But in this, it's a character I don't like. He's a deuce. I know it's the part he's playing. If I want to see him play a bad guy, I'll watch Black Eagle. Even though even in Black Eagle is not the style of that fucking film. Don Tashuta was the style of that fucking film. And basically, it's a James Bond wannabe. In this, it's like Teatic Kid meets fucking Dolph London. Instead of Dolph London, it's fucking Dunford Van Dam. That's what it is. That's what it fucking is. No mistake, no surrender. It's that. There's a bit in it where you've got this rapper and he's doing... You know, like sit ups in the in in the park, and the, the, I'd say this fucking series. It says, "How the fuck do you take this fucking series?" There, he's doing this to rapper, where he's doing fucking sit ups. Says, "I'm not taking the piss here. I'm not been smoking pot." He's doing this, and I'm fucking laughing my fucking ass off. I think it was this film supposed to be serious. You got a Joseph Boosley training a lad out of martial arts. You got a fucking rapper doing this. And I'm thinking, what the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching as a film? So you've got this bollocks, and I will call it bollocks. You've got that, which is fucking tins worth there. And I'm thinking to me fucking self, what the fuck? Say it again. What the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? Seriously, somebody help me out here. What the fuck am I watching? So, like I say, he's not even fighting the lad. He's beating the shit out of this dad. The lad comes in and then he whacks the fucking Don Ford Van Dan. Fuck it, I'll just call him the Boosley Tandle Son Wannabe. So he comes in, Don Ford Van Dan says, Hey, you're bitty dud. And he says, I've only just got started. And he kicks the shit out of Don Ford Van Dan. He's, so even the fight scene's not spectacular. He kicks the shit out of John Ford Van Dan, knocks the fucker out of the ring. End of movie. End of fucking movie. End of movie. And under my fucking patience. You get this really horrible, horrible eighties theme tune. I know the film came out in the mid eighties. Because horrible fucking music at the end. Supposed to be a happy ending. I don't really give a fuck. End of movie. End of my patience as well. Had this would have been a film when Don Ford Van Dan made it more bid, because this was one of you could definitely told this was an early film of Don Ford Van Dan. Had this would have been he would have made it more bid like he did with Blood Sport or Kickbox or and any of that, I went and he would have been the main character. He would have been the main character, they would have had someone else play the Wolf and die, and he would have been the main character. There was the original post off with Don Ford Van Dan like that and the lad like that, and he reads like the fucking one. He doesn't even fight him, he comes into it, right? At the last minute, kicks the shit out of Van Dan, so fucking easy peasy, eh? it's like me blinking my eye just then, and knocks him out the fucking ring, and I'm thinking, is that it? Is that the fucking highlight of the movie? There's a bit in the disco when he's doing break dancing, I get it, it's in the 80s, but he's doing break dancing, and this is me. This is fucking me. Because it's Chinsworth. Eh? You've got this lad, I'll see, so I don't, so I'm, so I'm particularly correct. He's overweight. Is that a nicer word? He's over fucking weight. And he likes eating fucking hot dogs. And he's a bully. And when the lad's trying to do his martial arts, he tells the teacher that he's a dick and he says your martial arts is shit. 
so he gets picked on. You've got the rapper down about the day. It's like a fuck he said. You've got fuck it on Ford Van Dan. It's a feeling he gets the shit kicked out of him. End the movie. Don't, no mystique, no surrender. I can watch it just to, for a laugh because I like the bit where the lad's doing the best. He's doing that like a fucking knob. And I do like it for Bruce Lyers, the dose of Bruce Lee because there's a bit where he's visiting the Dave Stone of Bruce Lee, which is funny because he calls him Bruce Lee. And we all know it's fucking Bruce Lee. So I do like the bit where you've got the dose of Bruce Lee and you see it's in my and I'm thinking, what the fuck am I watching? That's the only I like. But in No Mistake, No Surrender, I prefer the second one. Even though the second one does have a downbeat ending, I like it because it was like an Indiana Jones and a Rambo rip-off wannabe. I didn't mind that one. I like the third No Mistake, No Surrender because it's like two buffers out on revenge over the father's murder. And I do remember it had some good fight scenes in it and it was a bit of an action film. So I didn't mind the third No Mistake, No Surrender because all of them have a different story. They all have a different story. But the first one, I just fucking said it. It's a Tarati kid and a Wacky 4 rip-off. It's a fucking Tarati kid. Meets Rocky Four Wannabe. I'll give it a two to be generous because I like Bruce Lyon, the team very entertaining. I thought the bit with the rap was doing that, putting his face like a dick was like funny, even though I don't think it was supposed to be funny. The bait dancing scenes were it, and it's good to see John Ford Van Dan make an early appearance. I'm only happy that two years after this, he did Bloodsport. I already reviewed Bloodsport. In my eyes, Bloodsport is a better film. It's a better fucking film. Other than that, be smart, be safe. See you later.